This is a simple comparison between The Last of Us game running on normal settings versus custom settings on RPCS3, a PlayStation 3 emulator. As you can see, on the normal settings, the game's not playable, but on the other hand, you can really play the game on custom settings. But how can you find these custom settings for any game, not only Last of Us? Well, one of the most common misconceptions about where to get these custom settings comes from YouTube videos. Listen guys, usually most YouTube videos claiming that they are playing a barely playable game at 60 FPS are not actually real. This misconception is mentioned by RPCS3's bot on Discord that reads, take performance benchmarks for games, especially games still listed as in game, on YouTube with a grain of salt. They're not an accurate representation of how a game actually runs most of the time. Vast majority of these videos tend to use bad or outdated settings. Some of them are heavily edited and only showcase cherry-picked areas that run decently to make a game seem playable. For up-to-date status of a game, check the compatibility list in RPCS3's website, plus check the RPCS3 wiki page for the best settings to use for the game. Now let's just jump into tutorial. It's good for you to know that all the games in RPCS3 are run by the default settings of the program itself. But if you want to run it by a custom configuration, there is an option when you right click on a game and you can create custom settings for that game. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how it's done. Well, all you need to do is to right click on the game's icon and click on check game compatibility. Then you're greeted with the RPCS3's compatibility webpage. After that, click the title ID of the game and the next RPCS3 wiki page shows up that includes the game's recommended configurations. For example, it says that I should put the FPS limit to 60. There are some uh, important and useful notes in the notes section. It says here in the wiki page that I should set the resolution scale to 100. But in the notes, it says that I can increase the resolution scale if I have the MLAA patch turned on. Now here comes a new topic for me to explain it to you. There are patches in the game and most famous games like Last of Us, God of War, Persona, Metal Gear and a bunch of other games have patches for them which can make your gaming experience so much better. I think I've said enough about the custom settings so I have said other settings based on the wiki page of the game and right now I'm gonna talk about the patches. Well if you want to change the game's patches you right click on the game and click on manage game patches. After that if you're doing this first time try to download the latest patches on bottom left corner. It's always better to have the latest patches. So as you can see there are a bunch of patches for this game and one of them is MLAA as we were discussing a minute ago for the resolution scaling. So why should I turn it off when I can turn it on and have a better gaming experience? So uh, I can turn this on and set my resolution scale to 150 because my screen resolution is actually 1920 by 1080. So that's much better. There are other patches for the game and most of them have some notes attached to them. For example, they can say you should uh, disable this setting if you are using this kind of patch which is super important and useful so I recommend you to turn on any patch that has to do with a better performance and there are also some patches for the gameplay which mostly works as a trainer for the game's money or other kinds of things I personally like to turn them off so that I can have a better gaming experience oh I said that word so many times so that was all of it. Uh, keep in mind that this game, The Last of Us, has super inconsistent FPS no matter how good your CPU is. So um, lower your expectations, please.